Hey everyone, I'm Sebastian and welcome to Atmosica, your place for creating an inspiring atmosphere for your tabletop role-playing games. Now in today's episode, we're gonna be looking at some DMX lighting continued on from an existing video on the channel where I showed you how to set up some of these lights. And these lights are great for different types of animated effects and weather effects, which are personally my favorite for the game room because they're pretty snappy and responsive. So this is continued on from that previous video, which I'll link in the description, but this is going to be looking at a alternative method for communicating between the Stream Deck and QLC Plus. Now in that previous video, we looked at using uh, keyboard shortcuts and focus window kind of things. And I think a lot of those plugins have kind of expired or not working anymore. So this is gonna be using a different alternative method, which is uh, MIDI signals from the Stream Deck to QLC Plus. And that's gonna be a great way for activating lighting scenes and some other types of effects as well. So let's get stuck into it where I can show you how this is hooked up together. So the first thing we're gonna install is the Loop MIDI plugin from Tobias Ericsson. I'll leave a link in the description, but basically it's gonna set up a virtual MIDI port for the Stream Deck to communicate with. It's pretty straightforward to install. And once that's in, you can go in and make your own custom port for MIDI commands. And right here, I'm just gonna add a new one and I'm gonna name it to the Stream Deck. Now all we have to do is set up the MIDI plugin for the Stream Deck. So you can follow the link in the description or you can search the marketplace for the MIDI plugin. And once you install that, now we'll have a bunch of different options for setting up an action for triggering those lighting scenes. So now in the Stream Deck software, if we have our MIDI plugin on hand, you can see we've got a bunch of different options for different types of actions. And the one we're gonna use at the moment is the note on and off. Basically, this is going to be whenever we push this button, it's gonna trigger a specific MIDI note and that's gonna to communicate to the QLC Plus software. So for the MIDI output and the MIDI import, we're gonna set it to that new channel that we created called the Stream Deck. So now in QLC Plus, we have to do a couple of things to get those signals coming through from the Stream Deck. So if you go to the Inputs Outputs tab and scroll to where you can find it, you can see the uh, MIDI plugin here. You can see our channel on, or the device, it's called Stream Deck. And just make sure that that input is ticked on. So now it's gonna get those signals from the Stream Deck with that virtual MIDI port. Now we're gonna link up the MIDI signals from the Stream Deck to trigger lighting scenes in QLC Plus. Uh, on the Stream Deck, we're gonna set up a couple of buttons that use the note on and off action. We'll pop these into a multi-action later, but having each MIDI signal on separate buttons for now is a helpful way for setup. On each button, set each one of those to use a different key. Those keys are gonna be different signals for different QLC functions or scenes. Over in QLC, I've pre-made some simple buttons on the virtual console that all trigger different lighting scenes when pushed. For more detail on this, check out the description for a link to the DMX setup video. Previously, we used keyboard shortcuts to activate scenes from the Stream Deck, but now we'll use some MIDI signals. To connect the button to a MIDI signal, double click it and turn on the auto detect in the external input section. QLC is now listening for a MIDI signal. Now by pressing one of the buttons that we made on the Stream Deck, it'll pick up the intended signal. You can repeat that for as many additional scenes as you want, just remember to use a different key for each signal. To test if they're working, switch QLC over to operate mode and give the button a press. One thing that you'll notice that once a button is pushed, it doesn't turn off the previously activated scene. Now for that, we'll need a simple multi-action and something in QLC. Now when activating a new scene, it's important to have all the functions deactivate first. Kind of think of this as a reset for the lights before going into that new scene. So the first step is going to be in the multi-action is an off function. Now in QLC, this is setting one of the buttons to use the stop all functions property. And then the next action can be the signal for the intended scene. So now when the multi-action button is pushed, it deactivates the current lighting, then activates the new scene. 
Well, that was just a little technical tidbit on how to kind of optimize your DMX lighting integration with the Stream Deck and QLC Plus. So I'm curious to hear how it goes for you. If you have any problems, then shout out in the comments. Huge thank you to my amazing supporters on Patreon with a special shout out to Anthony Von Olin, Blake Dale, Charisma on Command, Chase McAllister, Chris Andrus, Constructed Chaos, Darkfire Designs, Dr. Justin L. Hamrick, John A. Johnson, Mini Wargaming, and Nathan Mack. Thanks so much, guys, and until next time, let's create and inspire.